Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art. Today we're going to be making a masking fluid drawing using alcohol inks. So we're going to be using mineral paper as our surface to work on because alcohol inks will work best on a surface that doesn't completely absorb. So mineral paper is nice and soft and isn't completely absorbent, so the alcohol inks will sit on the surface and give it a really nice shine. Other surfaces that you could use as well are photo paper or UPO paper, which work quite nicely. To start off with, we've got our masking fluid pen. You can get masking fluid in a liquid form as well, but this pen is a bit easier to control. And what's great about it is it comes out as a blue coloring, which means you can see where you've drawn your images. Now I'll just continue drawing some ocean themes. So things like coral reefs are a good starting point because you can work with different shapes and lines to get interesting variations. The masking pen dries with a latex-like film, so when you're drawing, take care not to accidentally wipe or smudge the parts you've already drawn. If you want the liquid to flow a bit more easily out of the tip, you can just pump the marker, similar to a Posca, and then it'll start to flow a bit easier. So now we've got our masking fluid on the page. It doesn't take too long to set it all, which you can probably see some areas are already starting to peel off very easily. So when you are finished with your work, it's good to leave it for about two minutes or so, just so all of the image can dry before we start going over the top with alcohol inks. So we'll just let it sit for a little while before we work over the top of it. Dry. Oh no, you can't put that in. <laughs> I'm trying to work here even. So now that we've let our image sit for a little bit and it's pretty much completely dry, we're just going to spray some alcohol inks over the top so that it covers the whole image. So I put the inks into these little spray bottles because they're much easier to apply and cover a larger surface. And doing that means you don't have to use as much ink. So we'll just spray the layer of ink over the top. We'll get some really nice color blending happening. And then we can work on creating some more patterns depending on how the image looks. The spray bottle allows you to work in a thin layer, which will make it easier to remove the masking pen once it's dry. It's also a good idea to have something under your work if you're worried about making a mess. Here I'm using a silicone mat, but a sheet of plastic or even newspaper will do. So now that we've covered most of the picture with the alcohol inks, there's some really interesting colour blending happening on the picture. What I'm going to do is just um, blend in the parts of the picture that haven't quite completely been covered. So I'm going to use a pipette for that and I'm going to use the pearl alcohol ink because it's nice and clear. So we'll get some more colour blending between the colours that are already on the page. Because the pearl inks have an extender in them, you'll notice the colours underneath start to move around and blend, creating interesting shapes and patterns. Now that we've put on that little bit of extra colour, you can see that the ink underneath is reacting and moving slightly. So I've picked that up a little bit. You can see where it's been put on quite thick. Now I like those kinds of shapes and patterns over the top of our image. So I'm just going to let that sit. Where we've sprayed the alcohol ink, it's all ready. 
pretty much dry, but because we've just added that little extra bit, we'll probably have to leave it to sit for about 10 minutes for it to dry completely. And then after that, we can rub off the masking fluid. Now that we've left our image to dry for a few minutes, if you're impatient like me, you can just tap the area where you're still waiting for it to dry. And some parts are still a little bit tacky because the alcohol inks like the pearl pigments, the bronze or the gold, take a little bit longer to dry because they're just separated with the extender and those pigments in them. So just give them a quick little tap to make sure that they are dry enough to rub off the alcohol ink beneath it. What's key to this as well is to make sure that your ink isn't applied too thickly, otherwise you will have a bit of trouble taking off the masking fluid from underneath. With me, I have this adhesive eraser. This is quite handy to use because you don't have to put too much pressure onto it to remove the alcohol ink and the masking fluid from underneath. So I'm just going to try on this little patch here as you can see, as you're rubbing, that masking fluid from underneath is coming off. So that's quite easy to do. If I try to do that with my finger, you do have to put in a little bit more pressure into it. So if you were doing this with younger kids or kids that don't have much strength in their fingers, they'll have a bit of difficulty doing a larger image. So if you have something like an adhesive eraser, it will be much easier to get that masking fluid off. So as you're rubbing away the masking fluid, you may notice that it sticks to the adhesive sponge. So you can just peel off those extra bits because it'll be harder to rub off the masking fluid when you've got little parts attached to it. So just peel off those little excess bits of the masking fluid and then you can keep going. Now we've finally rubbed off all the masking fluid from the image. So what you'll notice is where you've put the pearl pigments or other similar pigmented alcohol inks, it's a bit sticky to wipe off. That's most likely because we haven't left enough time for it to dry completely. So these ones do take a bit more time than the solid colors. Also, if you were doing this activity with a class or a group of kids, you do need to wipe off the masking fluid before 48 hours. Otherwise it will adhere to the surface and it'll be extremely difficult to get it off. Otherwise, it's quite a simple activity. If you did want to make it easier, you could always use watercolors on other surfaces, such as watercolor paper. Mineral paper will also work, but it's much easier to remove than it is with alcohol inks. I don't know what else I'm saying. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.